Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. As I said in the last video, we will fix two things and then redeploy same application using Elastic Beanstalk service. If you have not watched the previous video, here are the two things like when I click on employee button, it is not redirecting to the first page. And let's add some data. So second is when I enter the raw captcha and click on save it's showing error message but resetting the entire form, it should not do that. And once both the issues fixed then we will redeploy the application. As I already said in the previous video I removed slash after path so let's add back that slash. Now let's add second change. Open employee controller. So the scenario is like when it's redirecting back to add method as you can see we are returning new employee object. Instead of sending directly let's create one private variable for employee and add required changes. Changes are very simple. That's it. Let's run Maven clean and install. War file created successfully. Let's copy and paste it in Tomcat web apps folder. Let's start the server using a startup bat file. Server started. Let's check in the browser. See, it's redirecting back to add a page, but that was happening previously also. I hope now this will work in AWS also. Let's add a new record. Enter the wrong CAPTCHA and click on save. See now error message is coming and only CAPTCHA field is being empty. Add correct CAPTCHA. See it's working fine. Just for testing add one more record. Now let's see how to redeploy this war file. Click on Upload and Deploy button. Click on the Choose File button. Give some version label. Click on Deploy. Uploading started. See uploading completed. Now internally it's just restarting the server. See it's done. But wait till health is not okay. See now OK. Now refresh this page. See now it's redirecting to add page. Let's add a new record. See the error is coming but the form is not resetting. Now add the correct value of CAPTCHA. See it's working fine, add one more record. You can also open this page and add some record. Let's quick review whatever we added. Whatever changes we added, those are very simple.
The incoming video we will see how to deploy a web application which has database interaction. I already checked in my changes. Open our GitHub page. See this is the repository. If you want you can download the code. And here are the changes. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.